Using Avid Control or Avid Control Desktop with the S1 and S3 control surfaces gives you detailed channel strip information along with high resolution metering that is crucial feedback when mixing. But not everyone has the same visual needs that the default layout provides. With the new meter strip designer functionality, you can now create your own custom strip layout that works best for your particular workflow. Meter Strip Designer, introduced in Yukon version 2021.6, lets you easily create a visual channel strip layout from all of the available strip elements, including meters, track name, multigraph, individual EQ, dynamics, or pan graphs, track input and output, automation state, track type, and group name. So while having all of this information on the displays is nice, I want to be able to see what makes sense to me while I'm mixing. So let's put together a custom meter layout that gives me the information I want at my disposal. To get to the Meter Strip Designer page, tap on the gear icon in the top right corner of the Avid Control app. Select Meter Strip Designer from the settings list on the left. You will now see two columns, Available Items and Strip Preview. Strip Preview will be first populated with the default strip layout. If you want to reorder the elements that are already there, just drag and drop their order in the preview section. But I want to create my own layout. So the first thing to do is drag all of the elements to the available items section to start a new layout. The one element that cannot be moved is the actual meter. Once I have the starting point, I just start dragging over the elements I want into the strip layout. You will notice that when you drag the multigraph over to the available items section, it will split out into four different elements, Multigraph, Dine, EQ, and Pan. This allows you to choose whether you want to have any or all of the graphs broken out individually or have a multigraph but only have it contain certain elements. So what I want for my layout is the meter, multi-view for Dine and EQ, but Pan as its own element. I also want automation status, input, output, and track name. Once I have the strip layout the way I want it, I just press the save button and the strip layout is now saved and updated across all of my attached surface tablets or the control desktop app. And if at any time I want to revert back to the default layout, I just press the default button then save. Also, as I'm making changes to the strip, I can press the cancel button at any time to revert back to the last saved strip layout. Having the surface display set up with the information I need will let me make decisions about my mix quickly and with confidence. With Meter Strip Designer, being able to set up a custom strip layout for your S1 or S3 meter bridge gives you the flexibility to work and view information that is best for your workflow.